Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be filming a video with our Honda Foreman 420. We did actually buy this a few months ago and I never actually got around to filming a video with it. Um, I have been using it here and there in the videos, but I haven't made a video entirely on this quad. I did film a video the day we got it when it was completely brand new. So yeah, I did actually try and film this video twice now. This is my third time filming this video. The first time it was way too windy, the audio was just like useless. And then the second time, my microphone wasn't even plugged in so you couldn't hear a thing so yeah this is my third time trying to film this video i am going to be putting a few clips in from those previous videos if i've still got them but yeah we're going to be doing a sort of just a review on it really we're going to be going through some of the thick mud and the big old puddles in the 4x4 we'll be doing some drifting and i am going to be saving a top speed video for another day i will um i will be going flat out on this today but i'm not actually going to tell you what speed i get out of it i'm going to save that for another video but yeah i'll do a quick edit on the bike it doesn't look very clean at all because like i've said we've been using it for the last two months and it's not a brand new bike anymore but we did buy this bike brand new um from a dealership so yeah, unfortunately it's very muddy right now, but we did get it from new, so yeah, let's go into an edit quickly and then we'll head down to my track and do some drifting. We are now down at my track, we've got the quad here and I am at my favourite spot for doing drifting on this quad. As you can see I have been doing a lot round here. Basically this goes round here, then all round there and joins back on. You come into this pit and out the other side there. So yeah that might not have been explained too well but yeah it doesn't really matter. Um, you'll see in a sec while I'm driving round. But, I don't have my GoPro with me today, so I am going to be setting the camera up in each different spot and just be going around doing some drifting. So, yeah, let's get on with it. So there you go, there was a good old bit of drift in there. The weather's perfect for this. It's tearing the ground up so nicely. This is actually the pit bike track. So we're making all the grass go away from the pit bike track, which is perfect because nobody wants grass on a track. You want dirt so that it can all rut up. So all the straights are still grass, unfortunately, but yeah, the corners aren't, which means they're gonna rut up quite nicely. And I suppose the more we ride it, we are, this is actually the most cross track, sorry, not the pit bike track, the pit bike track's in the forest. But yeah, this open bit is actually our most cross track. So this is gonna rut up really well. And the more we ride it, the more the grass is gonna go. So yeah, at least all the corners now aren't grass, but yeah. And now what we're gonna do is go back into that pit where I was just drifting a minute ago and stick it in four wheel drive and see how well it goes up and down the hills. And then after that, we're gonna go over to a big puddle and see how well it gets through that because I know that is very muddy. So yeah, let's go to this pit first and then we'll head over to the puddle.
So it did make it up those hills so easily and yeah, I wasn't surprised to be honest. I stuck it in four wheel drive and it made up so easily. I used to go up and down these on my TRX 90 before I sold that. So yeah, now what I'm gonna do is head over to that big puddle and go through that, stick it in two wheel drive, see if it makes it through and we'll stick it in four wheel drive to see how much easier it gets through. So yeah, let's head over there now. So guys, here's the puddle. There's a bit here and the main bit is there. I think that is really deep. So if I make it through there, then I probably am gonna be a bit sideways going through here. But yeah, I'm excited to see if it can get through or not. So let's put the camera down and get through it. make it through that puddle really easily I didn't th I did think it would make it through easily but yeah made it look super easy so now I think I'm just gonna go to another spot that I've got in mind and we can do a sort of a top speed so let's go so guys on my way to the next spot I have just come across here which I completely forgot about this is really muddy here, so I'm gonna have to put it in four wheel drive and try and get through it again. Um, I'm not gonna go through there, that's just stupid because it will get stuck. I, well, I think it would get stuck and I'm not gonna risk that. Um, if you do want me to go through this big puddle, then make sure you do comment down below and say, go through the big puddle. Um, and I might be able to sort something out. We'll get both the quads out and have somebody down here with me in case we do get it stuck. Because if I get it stuck down here on my own, I'll have to leave the quad there. I'll get my feet will get very wet, so I'll have to climb off the quad, and then I'll probably be in big trouble for getting the quad stuck. So yeah, we'll go through all of this mud down here, and I'll try a little bit of that. Hopefully. I don't get stuck if I do then like I just said I probably will be in big trouble but yeah it's worth it for the video so make sure you do like the video because I could get in trouble for doing this so yeah let's stick it in four-wheel drive and try it So guys, it did make it through this little bit here really easily. So if you want me to go through this bit there, which is really, really deep, then I will go through there. Um, if we get 100 likes on this video, then I will come back and I'll go through this big puddle. So yeah, also comment down below if you want me to do any other ideas with this quad. I think I am gonna head back home now. Um, I have got quite a few clips and yeah i will be making more videos with this quad as well as my crf 110 um i haven't actually made any videos apart from the teaching my mum how to ride a dirt bike i haven't made any other videos with that crf 110 so i'm going to be making a video like this one showing you my new 110 that's going to be coming in a few weeks time so yeah if you enjoyed today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe thanks for watching